Hello everyone. The purpose of this video is to provide a brief overview of the carrageenan example, which models the production of carrageenans from seaweed. This video covers the key concepts and results for the example, including information on the process itself, energy recovery opportunities, and economic analysis of the overall process. This video is not designed to provide a comprehensive tutorial on how to create models in SuperPro. For detailed information on building models in SuperPro, please refer to the SuperPro manual as well as the other videos under the training page of our website. Please note that a free functional evaluation version of SuperPro is also available under the Downloads page of our website. The evaluation version of SuperPro includes this Karaginen example as well as a README file which explains this example in much greater detail. The evaluation version also includes various other examples that you may test drive. Let's take a look at the Karaginen example now. Carrageenans are specialty food ingredients which are used as thickening, gelling, and stabilizing agents. They are found in various species of seaweeds, which are the raw material for their production processes. The production of refined carrageenans has four sections in this model. Seaweed preparation, extraction, filtration and drying, and IPA purification. The purpose of the seaweed preparation section is to remove sand and other impurities from the surface of the seaweed. The process begins with an initial mixer which washes the seaweed with recycled potassium chloride solution. Fresh water and potassium chloride are also added in the loop. The slurry is sent into an agitated tank and is later passed through a coarse screen which separates the solution from the seaweed particles. At this point, most of the potassium chloride solution is recovered and recycled, and the washed seaweed particles are sent to the extraction section. Here, the washed seaweeds are mixed with sodium hydroxide solution and hot process water. The hot water consumed in procedure P8 is preheated in procedure P9, which is virtually integrated with a cooler in the IPA purification section. For detailed information on SuperPro Designer's virtual energy recovery capabilities, please refer to the SuperPro manual and the README file associated with the biodiesel example that ships with SuperPro. The hot caustic solution is then heated further using several heating units that are explicitly incorporated into the flow sheet. The solution is then sent into an extractor where the combination of sodium hydroxide and high temperature destroys the cellular structure of seaweed and the carrageenans are dissolved in the solution. The processed stream exchanges heat with the incoming stream in HX108, and then it is sent to the filtration and drying section. In this section, the slurry is first mixed with a solution of isopropyl alcohol, or IPA, that is recycled from the belt filter. A custom mixer then adds additional IPA solution that is recycled from the distillation column. The added solutions are colder than the product stream, which cools the mixture to around 60 degrees Celsius. At this point, the 40% IPA concentration, in combination with the lower temperature, ensures the precipitation of most carrageenans. The slurry then enters a drum filter, which separates the precipitated carrageenans from the IPA solution. The drum filter utilizes additional IPA solution to wash the carrageenan gel. The filtrate IPA solution from the filter is sent to the distillation column for dewatering, recovery, and reuse. Meanwhile, 
the product stream is mixed with additional IPA and sent to the press feed tank. From there, the gel is sent to the press, which mechanically removes the IPA and water solution, effectively concentrating the precipitated carrageenans. The filtrate from this unit is recycled back to the coagulation tube near the beginning of the filtration and drying section, and the thick carrageenan gel is sent to a drum dryer, which dries the product to a final moisture content of less than 12%. The IPA and water vapors are condensed in a condenser, and the condensate is recycled to the distillation column. Because of the various washing steps, the final carrageenan product has a very high purity of approximately 99.5%. The IPA collected from the drum filter and the condenser contains substantial amounts of process water and other impurities. To purify the IPA, the combined streams are preheated using two heat exchangers and then sent into a distillation column. Prior to recycling the purified IPA back to the process, the distillate stream is cooled by sending it back through the first heat exchanger as well as through another cooling unit. The stillage is used to preheat the incoming impure IPA stream and then it is sent to a waste tank after it is cooled to 35 degrees Celsius. The purified IPA is distributed back to various parts of the process via a flow distributor Fresh IPA is also added to make up for losses in different parts of the process. After the process model was completed, the financial calculations for the process were performed. Based on the assumptions in this model, the total capital investment for this facility is roughly $35 million, with an annual operating cost of about $27 million per year. The annual revenues are approximately $31 million per year, based on a selling price of $9 per kilogram for the carrageenan product stream. Various other financial metrics, such as return on investment, payback time, internal rate of return, etc., are also calculated. These numbers indicate this may be a promising investment. The Economic Evaluation Report also provides a summary of the magnitude of each component of the annual operating cost as shown here. In this example, the raw materials, labor-dependent, facility-dependent, and utility costs are almost equal contributors to the annual operating cost. Note that the facility-dependent cost is calculated based on estimates of annual maintenance depreciation, and miscellaneous costs for the plant. The capital investment for the plant is determined based on the size and type of each equipment unit present, as well as factors related to plant piping, instrumentation, buildings, and other direct and indirect costs. This concludes the Carrageenan example video. For additional details on how to create models in SuperPro, and for information on additional capabilities of SuperPro, please refer to the SuperPro manual, the Carrageenan example and its associated README file, and the other SuperPro example files, which are all included with the free SuperPro evaluation version and the full SuperPro application. Please also refer to the other online training videos located here. Thank you.